Hey, good morning, everybody. Pastor JC here from Crossroads Community Church coming at you live today. I hope you are awake and alive and on fire for God. I hope that the Holy Spirit is just crashing into your life today. And we have a great show for you this morning. Hope that everything is well with you. Um, lots to talk about. I mean, so many prayer requests and so many needs. But I just want to remind somebody today that you haven't come this far in your life for God to leave you. Where you are right now, you've gotten there by faith in Jesus Christ. And today, I am joined by three very special guests on our show today. The Heavenly Father, the Son, Jesus Christ, and the Holy Spirit are here. And they're speaking into my life and hopefully speaking into your life today. Of course, they're with us every day, right? Because they never leave us or forsake us. But I was reminded this morning about a song, and, and it's just kind of been rolling over and over and over in my head today. And the song says this, We have come this far by faith, leaning on the Lord, trusting in his holy word. He's never failed me yet. I can't turn around. I've come this far by faith. You know, with all of the events that have happened in our world in the last couple of weeks, in the last couple of months, in the last couple of years, the events that have happened right here in our home country that have shocked us and surprised us, things that we thought we would never see happen in a free America happening. Things that we would never even dream would happen in this first world country that we see happening in third world countries are now here in America happening. And we think to ourselves, how can this be? I know our hearts are broken and, and personally, my soul just feels crushed from all that has happened in this whole, whole Afghanistan fiasco thing. Uh, I'm just broken and, and I'm crushed over this. And I'm, I'm crying out to the Lord and saying, why, Lord, why? I, I don't understand. I don't get it. And the Holy Spirit just keeps reminding me we've come this far by faith. Y'all, this is not the first time that tragedy has ever struck. This is not the first time that catastrophe has come on the scene. This, is, this Hurricane Ida that ravaged Louisiana, Mississippi, it's not the first hurricane we've dealt with. But we've made it through all of those things, and we've come this far by our faith in Jesus Christ. I want to tell you this morning, don't let your faith be shaken. Don't let your trust in God wane just because of what's happening around us. Yeah, these, these are most definitely uncertain times. These are without a doubt some of the end days of which the Bible prophesies. I believe that. I feel it in my heart and my spirit. And, and I'm not a prophet. I don't claim to be a prophet other than I speak the word of God. But I felt in my heart and in my spirit that the whole world stage is being set for the return of Jesus Christ. And I, that shouldn't frighten us. That shouldn't make us fearful or afraid. And, and the reality is the times and seasons in which we live shouldn't even be a surprise to us because the word of God is very clear about the last days. But let me tell somebody right now, the worry that you've been dealing with, and, I, and I'm speaking to myself right now as well, the fear that you've been feeling, the confusion, the, the lack of understanding about things that are happening, don't let those rattle the foundation on which your life is built. And that is faith in Jesus Christ. It's the most important thing. Church, we've come this far by faith, leaning on the Lord, and we will not stop leaning on Jesus. We will not stop having faith in his word. We will not stop trusting his Holy Spirit because that's what we need in this day and age. So even when we don't understand, even when we may feel afraid, we press into Jesus and we realize that he holds the whole world in his hand. It's another song we used to sing when I was a kid. He's got the whole world in his hand. 
So today, remember that he is completely powerful, he is completely aware, and he is completely faithful. We've come this far by faith. And church, we're not going to give up. We're not going to stop praying. We're not going to stop the good fight of faith. We're not going to stop interceding for those who are our elected officials who represent us to make wise decisions and to do the godly things. Today I'm praying. I'm praying for all of those who have been in the path of this Hurricane Ida. I'm praying for all of those who are feeling the devastation of that. I'm praying for all of those who were left in Afghanistan and those who were afraid, those who have gone into hiding, those of the body of Christ that are there, those are military personnel, those American citizens. I'm praying over them today. I'm praying for our veterans and our military here in the United States right now who are dealing with their feelings of anger and frustration and hatred over the way things seem to have gone down in the last week or two. Praying for them because we need the Holy Spirit to give us guidance and direction. Church, he's not left us. He's not forsaken us. He's not walked away from us and he's not abandoned us. This God that we serve is powerful enough to take care of us and he's powerful enough to take care of them. I'm praying for all of those who are dealing with the effects of this COVID that has been in our world for over a year and a half now. So many that I'm hearing of that are sick, some getting better, some not. I'm praying over them today. I believe the blood of Jesus is powerful enough to destroy every sickness and disease. And so I'm praying over them today, believing God for them. We've come this far. We can't give up, church. Our world needs a body of believers, whether they acknowledge it or not. They, they need a body of believers who rise up and pray powerfully and effectively. And church, I'm calling us to that today. We've come this far by faith. Don't stop believing. Don't stop trusting Jesus, but learn to trust him even more. I love you. I'm praying for you. May God bless you today. Take care.